Wow, four videos and all under uh, all before lunchtime. <clears throat> Can a project, film franchise, anime se animated series, ongoing book or graphic novel, etc., maintain the level of quality for an indeterminate amount of time, or is it bound to hit downhill? Was the question presented. For something that has a super long run, there's inevitably going to be staff member changes, writers, artists, actors, voice or live, directors, producers, perhaps even company takeovers during that time. Regime change is inevitable. It's possible for a show to be really good for a long time, then get bland or bad, and then revive itself as one of the best. The Simpsons is an example of this. Most of the newer HD episodes have actually been very good and hilarious. They've pulled themselves out of their writing slump and made some really damn excellent shows again, like the old days. But who knows how long that will last. I haven't watched The Simpsons in about a year. Until that gets better again and worse again and better again and worse again. <clears throat> South Park is, is an example of sort of maintaining quality. They just haven't run out of things to call attention to and teach lessons about. It's crazy. They're still writing with the same level of intelligent commentary with the crude humor, which is easy, but the way it's written, it can be clever. As the first episodes, the quality of the episodes are better now, but about the same, almost no change at all. That can be good and bad for a series. We're monkeys obsessed with anything new, likely an instinct built on the idea that new things were less likely to kill you than old things, like new water, new uh, pieces of meat, etc. And most of us can only take so much of the same before our brain tells us to start ignoring it. But new audience still discovering things may probably still like it for a long time before that happens. I don't have any other series that I've watched that have lasted long enough to compare. I've never watched Doctor Who, and I have no plans on doing so. It looks like something I find incredibly boring. But that's only but that's the only other series I can think of that has lasted so long. But it does seem to see value in change, with new Doctors and main characters switching after whatever amount of seasons is required, maybe just one season. And that has both helped and damaged its relationship with fans. Oh, Young and the Restless, too. Yes, I watched it with my ex in St. John's, and oddly enough, we thought it was very well done. Some plots actually had me crying or cheering. <laughs> it was well acted. Something that lasts as long as that is bound to have long stretches of suckage, along with long stretches of solid entertainment, because there were long stretches of solid suckage with a long, long stretches of solid entertainment. The stories we seem to require as a race go through phases all the time. We're too amorphous to stay still for for long, but we'll come back to the things we really like. 